Hello and welcome, Eyeglass Tyler, my buddy TJ. We're gonna talk to you about our top picks in sunglasses for sports. Now, what's interesting here is that sports is just like a general statement could be really any sport under the sun, right? Or whatever you wanna call a sport. So we have a pretty diverse selection here on the table. And I would like to remind you that how we pick these best ofs, these top picks, is not only through our wealth of knowledge as longtime opticians and our wealth of experience working with frames, but also customer feedback, and of course, also just raw data, raw numbers. And so that's how these frames made it on the table. Uh, TJ, why don't you take uh, your, your first pick, just your favorite. Ooh, I'm gonna need a couple of minutes, but I think if I, if I had to do it right away, we're gonna go with the Radar EV Path for a number of reasons, which we're gonna, going to get into right now. Well, one reason why I love the Radar EV Path so much is because, well, for one, it's been around for quite a long time. It sure has. You know, I don't know when it's birthday, but I think it's around almost 10 years old now. That sounds about right. I was gonna say eight, Yeah. eight to 10. Yeah, and this is of course an Oakley frame, uh, a favorite among many athletes, namely ball players. They really like this one for the single shieldness of the shield and the lens. <laughs> what a way with words you have. <laughs> It's a shield design, crazy good coverage, crazy wrap, amazing for really and truly just about any sports. Yeah. Uh, what about all that grip, man? Yeah, really popular among cyclists. Tons of unobtainium grip along the temples as well as the nose pad that you see right there. It's also textured, so when you start to heat up and sweat, well, that is the beauty of the unobtainium material itself. When you start to heat up and sweat, it actually gets tackier. So you can be sure these are not gonna move around or slide off the face no matter what you're engaged in. Also, a cool feature is the venting to help make sure they don't fog up. One of the things with that really crazy wrap design and huge lenses, they can potentially fog up a little better. No, uh, but thanks to that venting, you don't have to worry about that. This has an SFW of 140 millimeters. That puts it in that large to extra large range. What's interesting about this style is that even smaller faces can actually tend to wear it and it works pretty well. I think it's just because of that crazy wrap design and that shield overall look. It's oversized, it looks big. I'll throw it on too. I have a smaller face, I yeah. think, than TJ. And so you can get an idea how it looks on me. I've seen even petite people wear it and it's okay. But if you are particularly petite, there is a Radar EVXS that you can check out. Okay, I'm gonna pick my favorite, which is gonna be the Huxon here. Why is this my favorite? Probably because it's one of ours. I might be a little biased, sure, yeah, fair enough. We didn't just take an open source frame and slap SportRx on it. We actually put our heart and blood and knowledge and everything that we know what about what makes a good frame into the Huxon and our whole line actually. We also have the Coda and a little more feminine sensibilities, the Aviva, but this guy is nice, big, and square. It is a little flatter, so a little more of a lifestyle frame. We like to say athleisure. Uh, it does have grip where you need it. So there's grip in the nose, there's grip inside the temple tips to keep this on your face. Really good for a wide range of sports. I'm thinking mountain biking, I'm thinking golf, I'm thinking hiking, obviously. Yeah. Some of those things where you don't necessarily need that aggressive wrap, they're definitely gonna stay on your face. And the material that we use is a bioresin, so not only a little more eco-friendly, but also extremely durable, really, really good quality. We didn't skimp out on this. And if you're a prescription wearer, incredible. Tell me about the lens in there. Yeah, so in here, if you are non-prescription, we have our proprietary lens, which we call the Inferno lens. Nice and contrast enhancing, really amazing for helping to, to open up the world around you, make it easier to read the terrain. A lot of really awesome benefits of this. So if you're looking for something that's a little more everyday, but awesome for sports as well, the Huxon's a great choice. Not only that, it starts out at a great price point, including prescription, $99. That's right. And when it comes to sizing, let's throw it on as well. Uh, 136 uh, millimeters, that's the SFW, which is on the smaller end of large. It's a little bit big for me, mm -hmm. probably fits TJ pretty well. Yeah, a little bit better. Although our face shapes are somewhat similar. And one thing I really like about it as well is it fits well beneath the hat. Uh, that's, that's not something that everybody considers, but as an everyday hat wearer, and I'm sure there are a lot of you out there as well, it's something that I take into account how the bill fits with it, whether it's going to push down on the bridge, but none of that is happening right here. And as you can see, the temples go in pretty seamlessly. It's not causing any pressure points. So great compatibility with hats as well. 
Yeah. Okay, uh, next up, I'll pick another one, why not? This is that was the my turn. Nike. I jumped the gun. This is the uh, Rabid 22. So uh, it's been a part of a family that we've liked a long time yeah. from Nike, but it's updated and it's awesome. So there's always, the Rabbit's been around for a long time. The Adrenaline's been around for a long time, which I'll mention in a moment. Uh, but this is a Rabbit 22 and specifically the colorway that we did in a collab with right. Nike, which you can only get from Sporter X, which is pretty cool. Uh, but what you're getting with the Rabbit 22 that you didn't get with the Rabbits in the past is uh, you actually get some grip. A little bit of grip on the inside of the temple, a little bit of a textured bit, and then grip on the nose, uh, and just a really good fit for smaller faces. So you saw how it fits on me, probably a little bit small on TJ. Definitely, yeah, and we should note that the nose pads are ventilated, however, I'm not sure that becomes a huge benefit because obviously when you're wearing it and if you have a seamless fit, as you can see here, because my face models all these very well, let's be honest. But it, of course, is blocking that ventilation, so there is the potential, especially when you start to uh, work yourself up and heat up a little bit more, you could experience some fogging on the backside. So if that's something that you anticipate for your sport or activity in which you plan to use these, consider getting an anti-fog coating on the back of these guys. And when it comes to sizing, the Rabbit 22 comes in at an SFW of 130 millimeters, which is a small, maybe small to medium. And if you're a larger face, love everything about this frame, you really do also get that in the Adrenaline 22, which comes in at an SFW of 134, which is much more of a solid medium. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna go with the uh, Rudy Project Ride On. Good choice. Yeah, this one's been around for quite a while as well. Uh, one of the most, I think, ergonomic and and accommodating frames that you can pretty much find on the market. Rudy Project has put so much R&D into their frames and lenses, but the Ride On especially has really evolved over the years and it even comes in a, a dock format, which do you want to explain a little bit about that if we're talking prescription? Yeah, so the ride on's been around for a long time. The frame itself hasn't evolved, but you, what you have gotten are some newer additions effectively. So the ride on itself, really good for like medium to large fits. The SFW on this guy is 138 millimeters, which is a little on the larger end of the spectrum. They came out with a ride on slim. They even came out with a different uh, lens shape that's a little more feminine called the ride on curva, which is the slim platform, but with a little more feminine lens shape, which is really cool. But then they also do not ever forget about the prescription wearer, which we love Rudy Project for. They definitely, with all of their frame designs, think about the prescription wearer. And so you can get this frame, even if you have a stronger prescription. And if you're a stronger prescription wearer, you know what that means. It's, it's surprising because you're always told no by your optical supply company. And by the way, if you are told no, definitely reach out to us. We're like the final say. If we can't do it, then no one can, but many people say they can't do things that we can do. But the ride-on with dock allows a really strong prescription to go inside this wrap design and this really aggressively sport design, which is amazing. And we'll include a link to that in this video. And just to demonstrate a little bit, we, another thing that we want to touch upon is that Rudy is really centered around cycling, but that doesn't mean that you can't use these frames for a variety of sports and activities. As you can see right here, it's got a very adjustable nose pad that is rubber tip. So again, it's going to stay in place even when you start to sweat, but you can pinch it, you can move it out slightly. Which is really cool. Uh, adjustable nose pads is a pretty uncommon thing, I think, especially in sport frames. Uh, also fully adjustable temples, right on, we can go on and on about it. Uh, and I already mentioned sizing, so it's, it's awesome. You cannot go wrong with the ride on, check it out. Next up, we have a Maui gym. This is the ever popular, ever amazing Hoa Kipa. If we're Ho O Kipa, Ho O Kipa, Ho O Kipa. Ho -o Ho -o I think. Uh, another frame that has had a long and successful tenure, really, really low profile, very, very thin temples. When you mm -hmm. put these on, it feels like you are wearing nothing at all, but you are in fact wearing a really good pair of sunglasses. Mm -hmm. There's grip in the ends of the temples, a texture grip actually, which helps them grip even better. There is grip in the nose pad. You have an, an effectively completely rimless design. And then of course, you have everything that Maui excels so well well at, which is incredible lenses. That polarized plus two lens technology is, I think, inarguably the best polarized lens on the market. Why don't you throw those on? And yeah. I just realized I didn't put on the ride on. 
which uh, for me is going to be a little bit, I think, large. I think the slim fits me pretty darn well. And, and uh, I'm not sure if we mentioned it. The ride on is uh, a 138 millimeter SFW. I did, I did it. And I did. It, you did mention that? Yeah, I, did. I just wasn't listening to you. Yeah. And then the Hoi Kipo, which I'm sporting right now, comes in at 134, making it a solid men's medium. And yeah, this is extremely lightweight. I forgot what this feels like on my face, and I yeah. really like it a lot. I'll, I'll throw it on. We, we've been sure. getting some feedback in the comments saying uh, you guys should try them on so we can actually see what they look like on the face. And so let us know if this is helpful. Hopefully it is. But yeah, it really, one of the, the first thing you notice, you put them on and you can completely forget yeah. that they're on. And, and by the way, These to give awesome. you a sizing reference, I'm about 6'1", 190, and I have my SFWs around like 130 He's taller than me, they can there. see that. I just wanted them to yeah, know that. I know. Yeah. How about you? 5'11", on a good day, or on a regular What's day. What's your SFW? Every day. My SFW is like a 132, 133. Sounds about right. Roughly. Yeah, yeah. about 134, 135 ish around there. So at least that hopefully gives you some sort of sizing reference when you're picking out your frames online. One of uh, probably the most popular sports we see this frame in particular show itself is golf, mm -hmm. which is an interesting one because typically we don't recommend polarized lenses for golf. And so it was always a little odd for me and, and it was interesting to see it on the course so frequently but the polarized lens that Maui Jim makes is just so yeah. above and beyond. Everything else is out there. It just, it doesn't seem to have the same drawbacks as your typical polarized lenses do. So amazing frame for that. Now this looks like a pretty rimless design. It probably can't take prescription, right? It can, you can still get it in prescription. Maui Jim takes care of people. Don't you worry about that, none. Awesome, okay, let's move on to the FLAC 2.0 XL. If you guys have watched any of our videos, you've probably seen this frame at least dozens times. of times. Yeah, it's been around forever. There's a reason they don't mess with it because why do you want to fix something that's not broken? Arguably the best athlete frame of all time. Tell me about some of the features. Interchangeable, grip all over the friggin' place, semi-rimless, you have, I mean, really and truly everything that you would want out of a sport frame. Really lightweight, extremely durable. Uh, the straight back temples, so very helmet compatible, very hat compatible, so much grip. And that's that same unobtainium grip that's gonna keep it on your face. Even as you start to sweat, it grips even better. Everything that you would expect out of Oakley, uh, it's amazing. If you are a multi-sport kind of person and you love to have the most perfect lens for every single activity or sport that you're in, you can have just the one frame chassis, swap it out with all the perfect lenses, mountain biking, golf, cycling on the road, baseball, like anything you can, fishing, and the vast majority of those actually, you can get that same perfect lens in prescription. Mm -hmm. It's really tough to, uh, to find any issues with the flak, especially that colorway. What's up with that colorway? Oh, this is our very own Sporterex SMU colorway, which is a matte carbon mixed with matte black. And it's been a go-to for a number of athletes that we sponsor as well. Yeah, so check definitely check this one out. Uh, when it comes to NSFW, this has a frame width of 135 oh, millimeters. Yeah. So it fits me perfectly, as you can which see. Is it, and with this frame in particular here, let me try them on. Uh, kind of one size fits most. Even though it's 135, there's just something about this, the design of this frame, kind of similar to the Radar EV in that it fits just such a wide range of faces. It is really a simple and, and reliable go-to. All right, last but certainly not least, mm -hmm. we have, we're talking sports. That's what I'm talking about, diversity on the table here. So this is the Wiley X Gamer. And what's different about this? Well, it's a little more of a sport frame design. So it is not your typical pair of eyeglasses or sunglasses, uh, but it is fully safety rated for sports. It's at ASTM rating. So soccer, football, it's gonna be good for all of those things, lacrosse, uh, you are gonna be covered, you're gonna be super safe, super protected, uh, and it's gonna be more comfortable, even if you do take a ball to the face, somehow uh, really nice and, and uh, built up nose pad here, which is all rubbery, super, uh, super comfortable. One of the things that I really love about this, if you're familiar with other sport goggle designs, this is a hybrid design. So you can actually wear it as a, a temple frame or you can take the temples off and you can swap it with an included full strap. So if you aren't sure, you don't have to pick. You have one meets all in this frame. This does also have a strap that connects at the end of the temple. 
It has an SFW of 131 millimeters, which is in the medium range, but on the maybe a bit smaller range. So it fits me pretty decently well. Yeah. Probably a little bit uh, small, maybe on TJ. But yeah, that's the thing with this category, with it being a sport category, you don't know what sport you're talking about. And this is an amazing sport goggle. Uh, one of our favorites. Absolutely. And you might be saying to yourself, wow, that looks a little bit big for my child. Uh, but the good news is it comes in two smaller sizes in the Fierce and the Victory. So Wiley X thought it through and, and instead of giving it one name and calling it small, medium, or large, they gave them all three names to confuse you as much as possible, but still a great option. There you go. So hopefully now you have the new ideal pick for best frame for you for sports. Now that you know our top picks in sports sunglasses, you might be interested to know what our top picks are in just all sunglasses. So we have a video on that. Check that out. Thank you for watching. Check us out on our social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, all the good stuff. We are there too. And I think that you would enjoy it. Check it out. Woo.